did you know that you can still get extremely, extremely affordable, great quality, brand new homes under $300,000 in San Antonio? And I'm not just talking about those little tiny homes that you can barely fit a couch into. I'm talking about homes with some of the best amenities in the entire city. I'm talking about 2,500 square foot homes in some of these neighborhoods. I'm talking about 2,200 square foot homes on golf courses. I'm talking about homes right next to some of the best shopping and entertainment areas in the entire Central Texas area and some of the best houses in the most affordable up and coming area in all of Texas. I mean, and this is every single house we're gonna take a look at today. Make sure you stick around. We're gonna get in every single one of these. We got five different houses to look at and we're gonna get you in each of those five houses right here, right now. Make sure you stick around all the way to the end to see that big 2,500 square foot house under 300,000. And on top of that, before we get started, we're gonna show you every single house not every single one, but I'm gonna give you a list and kind of show you exactly what you can get for under 300,000. That is a brand new construction house in San Antonio. And I'm not talking about just a few houses, we're talking about well over a thousand houses. And I'll kind of give you a rundown of where they're located and what you're gonna find with all those. So let's get into that part first. So let's take a look at all the $300,000 houses that are brand spanking new in San Antonio right here listed on the MLS. So right now you can see we have 1,118 homes that are under 300,000 and that are brand new construction. So let's go look at some of these areas that we're gonna take a look at too. So we talking about Seguin, you can see there's quite a few over here. Look at just some of the examples of some of these houses that are over here in Seguin. Some really, really nice houses. That one's over in Swenson Heights. That's a big house, 2,400 square foot house over there, KB Home, Lily Park, Lily Park, Lily Springs, Lily Springs. They've got some really nice houses too. And then kind of going up, we've got a bunch over here in New Braunfels. That's one kind of over where we're gonna be at near Creekside. And if you look, I mean, there's just options everywhere. Up here in Bulverde, where Hidden Trails is, we're gonna take a look there. Go back over here. Okay, Bulverde's gonna have a bunch. You can see there's 15 houses for sale in that Hidden Trails neighborhood. You also have a bunch up here in Canyon Lake. This is a really cool area because you can see there's some of these that are on like quarter acre, more country homes is what I like to say. These are kind of, you know, smaller, more custom style, but all new construction. This is everything here is new construction. Very, very unique houses up there on the lake with the hills and everything. And you even got a bunch over here on the west side where we're gonna be looking at a lot. So you can kind of see some of the styles. It's all very, very typical. D.R. Horton there, you know, that one's a Lennar, Tall and Skinny, Roush Coleman. Um, got some more over here. These are all Lennar, I believe. And then you've got even some more down the southwest side. That's Pulte Syntex, another Lennar. So just to kind of give you an idea, I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds of options of new construction. And even if you're looking actually in center of town, like if you want to be in town, let's look at some of these areas right there near downtown. I mean, this is dang near walking distance from downtown. You've got new construction, new construction. I mean, look at all these all over the place, under 200,000. Look at a bunch of these over here, some modern styles. Um, let's see here, what's this one, 225. Now, these are in, you know, nice looking house there. So you've got a, you got a ton of options for sub $300,000 houses. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the five most notable ones. Um, you can see the five that we're touching are just a small fraction of everything that's out there in San Antonio. So if you have any questions at all about all of these different types that you see in like all these different locations, let me know if you want hundred an under $300,000 brand new home, you let me know and I can find it for you. So now let's get into this first home that we're gonna take a walkthrough of. Welcome to Floresville. We are at the Lynx at Riverbend neighborhood, which is a DR Horton community in Floresville, Texas, which done a few videos on this neighborhood. We've done it south of, or we are south of Lavernia. So I've done a few videos on Lavernia, but this is just a little bit further down from Lavernia, not too far out of San Antonio, southeast of San Antonio, maybe 15, 20 minutes to get into San Antonio from here. Um, pretty good rated school district, actually, like a mid to, to high B's rated school district. Um, but the big thing is this house here behind us is a 2,223 square foot house, uh, four bed, two bath, and it is listed at 297,000. And what you can't see right here is that we are actually on a golf course community here. So you'll see it in this drone shot right here. They have the uh, driving range, the, the club center, whatever you call it, the restaurant, all that stuff. That is the biggest draw for this neighborhood. And the fact that it is 297,000 for a house this big is really, really good. The yeah, Horton builds a really good quality affordable house for the value here um, and you're going to see it so as soon as you walk in you've got kind of like a almost like a formal entryway that kind of goes into your garage right here that's where your garage door is and then goes up to your upstairs area and then opens up into your big 
kitchen, living, dining area, which is a really, really nice big open space. Like I said, 2,200 square feet. This is a gas neighborhood. Um, you can see just, you've got a really, like, I mean, a really, really good dining space. I mean, this is a, a very large area for a good sized dining room table for those that want more of a formal dining, have a lot of people over, a lot of times want to put a bigger table and still have a big living space without cutting out of your dining space. Um, and then the other benefit too, is that you got a really, really big backyard. Now this house in particular backs up to another house, as you can see, but the yard is huge. Um, there are some houses, and I'll show a quick video of them to you, that are being built that are gonna be ready June, July that back up actually to the ninth tee box. So they have houses that actually back up to the golf course itself. Um, so that's a, another big plus, and those are gonna be around the same price point as these, some of them even lower because they're smaller houses. Now let's take a look upstairs at the bedroom. So you have all the bedrooms upstairs here, along with big game room, loft area. Um, so carpet all the way through the, through the upstairs. Laundry rooms upstairs as well, so all the bedrooms, you don't have to take your laundry downstairs to it. You've got two bedrooms over here with a full bath, really nice tile, backsplash, sh shower, tub combo there, and then Across the hall, you have fourth bedroom here, the good walk-in closet, and then master bedroom right off of here as well. So you kind of got you know a little bit of a split floor plan because you have two bedrooms over there. You've got the one here and then the master right here, but you've got a really, really good sized master bedroom back here. And then your master bath is also really good size too. You've got not a linen closet, but it's you've got shelves here for your storage. You've got only a single vanity, but space to add a second if you want it. The toilet room there, and then pretty good size walk-in closet there with a window um, for some extra light too if you wanted it. Um, big walk-in shower too, tile almost all the way up, about eight foot up I would say, but really nice uh, overall. I mean the house itself is really really good. Um, I love DR Horton Homes. They kind of have a bad rap across the country, but here I've had a ton of people buy DR Horton Homes and have had nothing but good things to say. Never had any major issues or anything like that over the you know, years that I've been a real estate agent. So um, great, great quality home on a golf course, which is really, really hard to find, especially at this price point for this quality of a home. Um, and then in a suburb town that is really close to the city, but also has good school districts, good country feel to it. Um, lots of kids in this community, good family environment. So you have all kinds of stuff to look, look at this one. Now the next neighborhood that we're gonna check out, we're gonna go a little bit further north, go check out Bolverde and Hidden Trails. Now we are in Hidden Trails, which is in Bolverde, which is just north of San Antonio. Bolverde is one of those areas that a lot of people ask about because it's up in the hill country, you have amazing views all around. Uh, this neighborhood in particular is Hidden Trails. So Hidden Trails is right next to Johnson Ranch, right off of 281 coming up north from San Antonio. It's one of the most amenity rich communities in the entire area of San Antonio. You have a fishing pond, you have a huge playground area by that pond, you have a, uh, uh, like a splash pad and pool with a fitness area and like a, you know, a rental like hall that you can rent with another playground next to it. And then you've got another pool uh, that's a little bit further into the community with just like a pool and a kind of a little community center. Just tons of amenities, trails just everywhere going all throughout these hills that this neighborhood is kind of scattered throughout. Um, there's little, you know, dry creek beds that run through with trails running through all of those. Lots of green space on the backs up to these houses. And the best thing about this right now is how affordable this is. So this is a Lennar community. Um, there were a couple other builders here, but I think they're all sold out by now. Scott Felder was one of them. Um, and then across the, across the street, you also have Johnson Ranch which has some current homes that are still being built on some higher you know higher price points like Perry building up in like million plus dollar homes but this home in particular is right behind us four bedrooms two bath 1667 square feet so just under 1700 and it is priced at two hundred eighty thousand dollars now the incentives here are just like about everybody else they're they're covering closing costs on a lot of these but I mean the price point in itself is really really good I mean these prices range from around 265 ish all the way up to like the mid 400s and the crazy thing is that in, if you look at Bull Verde overall, I mean, Smithson Valley Schools, Comal ISD, you are looking at a median price point in this entire area of the current homes for sale of 440,000. So everything in this neighborhood is below the median price for Bull Verde. And this one is, I mean, a dang near half of what you can typically get for a home in Bull Verde. So let's take a look at this one, $280,000. Here's the other thing, it is Lennar. So you are getting a extremely simple, basic home package, right? This is nothing fancy. 
but you're getting the location. That is the biggest thing about this house. So you walk in, long hallway, you've got all your secondary bedrooms right up front. You have two here. You have a laundry, then a little closet area for your laundry room here. Two bedrooms right here. And then another one that could be like a, you know, third secondary bedroom or an office with a secondary bathroom right here. Garage right in here, it's nothing fancy. Smaller garage, two car garage still, but when you come out here, it's still a good living space. You have a decent sized kitchen with a good amount of counter space right on top. Um, you've got a dining area here and then a big open living space this direction. It is gas in this neighborhood, which is a huge thing for a lot of people that I know about. Um, smaller pantry. You've got another area for, you know, you could put a little desk there. You could put more cabinetry, a little coffee bar, a little, little just bar area for your drinks if that's what you want. Um, master bedroom in here. Again, nothing absolutely crazy over the top as far as size, finishes, everything like that. Master bathroom, you got a, does it have double vanity? Nope, single vanity. You've got a shower tub combo and you've got a decent sized walk-in closet. But again, you've got to think about it guys, this way. The, the location is what is selling this house. So if you're looking for a starter home and you're looking to get in Texas, get in Bulverde, but you just really want to get in this school district, this is a great house to buy to get into that outstanding, highly rated school district. Smithson Valley High School was just in the football state championship. Great athletic program, great, great school program. Their school ratings are off the charts for elementary, middle school, and high school. They're really, really good schools around here and just raved about by everybody that lives here. The community itself is awesome and there's a lot in this community itself. There is so much to do. Just when we were driving in, you could see kids, you know, walking with their parents, just walking down the sidewalks. There was guys driving, riding their bikes with the dogs. Um, older couples out walking their dogs as well. So we've got a wide range of types of people here. So it is a very, very, very good community. A lot of amenities, a lot of things going for it. And on top of that, talking to the new home sales agent, they are open to investors. So if you're an investor looking here, you wanna buy one of these new homes for rental, rental, rental portfolio, um, they are open to that as well. So give me a call if you've got any questions about this one. Now, the next place that we're gonna go is a extremely affordable, best, in my opinion, the best up and coming area in all of San Antonio, and that is Seguin, Texas. Welcome to Hidden Brook in Seguin, Texas. So Seguin is just east of San Antonio, just south of New Braunfels. It is one of the, probably, if I'm asked, the best up and coming area. Seguin is probably that. It is probably one of the best up and coming areas in all of Texas, realistically. Uh, being so close to New Braunfels, being right in between San Antonio and Austin. I know a ton of people that live in Seguin, commute to Austin, that commute to San Antonio, that commute into New Braunfels. So it has a ton going for it. And there are a lot of new construction neighborhoods that are extremely affordable going in on this north side of Seguin. This is Navarro ISD, one of the better rated school districts in the San Antonio area as well. Growing like crazy just because of all the new construction. They're building a brand new high school. But Seguin itself has a ton going for it. You have the downtown area. You have the Guadalupe River running through. Starkey Park with the golf course down there. It's a really, really great spot. There's a lot to do here. And it's like a 10 minute drive to New Braunfels. So you get the affordability of Seguin with the amenities being really close to New Braunfels, which is just north of here. This house in particular is a four bed, two and a half bath. 2100 square foot house by Century Homes. And this is, like I said, Hiddenbrook. You also have Ashton Woods and you have New Leaf Homes that are building in this neighborhood. Price ranges from Ashton Woods has one that's under contract right now, 245,000 for a 1400 square foot house, all the way up to 500,000 for a New Leaf, which is 3100 square foot house, which those houses are like castles. They look amazing. But this house in particular, like I said, four bed, two and a half bath, 2100 square feet. It is listed at 297,000 and it is a really, really nice, good quality house. So let's go take a look inside. So one thing you'll also notice, I don't know if you hear the helicopter or not, there's an air, airfield just down the road, but it's private. It's not like a super crowded airport or anything. So when you come in, you got this nice front porch. First thing you walk in, you notice is these nice floors. These are like the luxury vinyl tile floors, kind of a nice like brown gray mix um, on the floors itself. Um, really like good style. The baseboards, you can see like these squared off baseboards, a little bit higher quality than the kind of shorter ones that some of the lower price builders that we will see will do. But you have a big, huge open living area here. So really good space, bunch of windows. You got three windows here and it backs up. This house in particular backs up to a really nice green belt back there. Um, you've got a couple houses over that way, but this, uh, this side over here, I believe is like a dry creek bed that, that backs up, but it's got a really big backyard with a big covered patio. 
Um, the kitchen is a really good size. You've got these darker quartz countertops with this big island, 42 inch uppers on the cabinets, um, walk-in pantry that is a really, really good size pantry right here. You also have the garage, which is not a bad size garage, actually. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. It's, it's kind of hard to see probably from the video, but it's actually a little bit deeper than the ones that I typically see. I could probably fit my truck, my 2021 Silverado in this garage. That's, that's not the case with a lot of these other garages. Now, when we go upstairs, we'll see that's where all the bedrooms are. So you have four bedrooms, all upstairs, including the master. Oh, half bath right here too. And when you go upstairs, you're gonna start off when you get up here with this kind of open game room area, right? So as soon as you get up here, you've got attic access, open game room area, could be for the kids, could be for an office space, whatever you want. You've got the master over here with the laundry room upstairs as well, so you don't have to carry those clothes up and down the, uh, the stairs. You have a, the three bedrooms over here. They're not huge, 2,100 square foot house, four bedrooms. They're decent size, but not big. I mean, they're probably 10 by 11, 10 by 12, not gigantic. The bathroom itself though is really nice. It's got double sinks, uh, double vanity in here. So you can have, you know, if you have two kids and they want their own sink, they got their own space. And then you've got a good tile backsplash on the shower itself. And then when you come over here to the master, and laundry room's actually pretty good too. You've actually got some good storage in there too with like a little linen closet. Master itself is not a bad size and it backs up to the backyard. So you can, you know, you can see the neighbors over there, but you can also see this kind of, this drainage retention pond back here. And then you come into the bathroom, same floor as the downstairs, good size walk-in shower with a linen closet behind your door here, double vanity, and then a pretty good size closet in here as well with plenty of room to put your dressers, put some built-ins over here, lots of space. It's a really nice house actually, and I've gotten a lot of feedback from the times I've shown this house. I've gotten a lot of pretty good feedback on people that have seen this house and love the style of it. It's very farmhousey, a little more modern than some of the other ones, a little bit nicer finishes, um, and then still for a sub $300,000 price point is awesome. So the next neighborhood that we're gonna go to is Creekside in New Braunfels. Very hard to find a sub $300,000 home in New Braunfels right now. Well, welcome to New Braunfels, everybody. So we are in the Creekside neighborhood, which is Syntex and Pulte. It's a really, really nice neighborhood. There's a huge pool, really nice pool right at the front of this neighborhood. But the biggest sell for this spot is being really, really close to the Creekside shopping centers. You have the Resolute Baptist Hospital, which is literally a mile down the road from here. Being close to a hospital is really important to you. But you also have the benefit of having extremely affordable houses in this neighborhood in particular. And it is really difficult to get a good quality, low priced home in New Braunfels right now. Sub 300,000 is really hard to come by unless you're getting a very, very, very kind of lower end house, right? This one in particular is a Syntex home. So Syntex has very few that are below 300,000, but they have a 1200 square foot model called the Adams that is a three bed, two bath, and they have it currently listed for 288,000. Now, that one, unfortunately, has a ton of people working on it right now and it's not quite finished up, but it is available for sale. If you do have questions about it, you can reach out. My information's right here, but you can also check out this one right here. It's a little bit bigger. It's essentially the same floor plan, but with an added study to it. So we have three bedrooms plus a study. It's a little like 1,400 square feet. This one's like closer to 320,000. Um, so this is kind of more what you're gonna look at. You know, that low 300,000s is really a market that New Braunfels has quite a few options for, especially in this neighborhood, especially if you're looking for something that's a little bit more affordable like this. But we're gonna take a look at it so you can kind of see the product, see what you would get. Like I said, the three bed, two bath, 1200 square foot home that is under 300,000 is listed at 287,000. Um, and it's essentially the same as this one, minus the extra study that you'll see as soon as we walk in the door. So as soon as you come in, you see nine foot ceilings, good size ceilings. You've got kind of big living area here, really good size kitchen actually. Your study's here, so like I said, this is what you would not see in that 1200 square foot one. Um, but you've got a good size kitchen here. You've got this island here. You've got a dining space back here going to the backyard. They include fridges and everything in this neighborhood. Um, good size backyard back here too. Uh, this neighborhood still has a ton of building going on in it. So, if, again, if y'all are ever thinking about moving to the San Antonio area, 
please do not hesitate to reach out to, uh, to me or the San Antonio, Texas home group. Uh, my information is right here. We've helped hundreds of people just like you move to the San Antonio area. Absolutely love to help you guys do that. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can reach out. You can call, text, email, anytime, days, nights, or weekends. I would love to help you get here to San Antonio. I'd love to help you buy in one of these new construction neighborhoods that we're talking about. Or if you want to build from scratch, we can also talk about that, especially if you're further out, need to sell your house, need a contingency, or if you're looking to get some of these lower interest rates like all these builders are offering, that is a huge deal right now for a lot of these builders. So reach out, we can talk about that, talk about which options are available for you to get a potentially below 5% interest rate and also get all your closing costs covered. There's a lot of options with that. But now let's keep looking at this house. Again, like I said, Syntex Homes. So decent little pantry here. You'll notice a little bit now. So we're in, it's 287,000. Last house that we were just in in Seguin, 297,000, 98,000, whatever it was. You could see the size difference and the quality difference, right? So this house is, is nice, don't get me wrong, but it is not up to that level of what we just saw in that 2,100 square foot house. So you've got three bedrooms right here and then a laundry room that goes into the garage there. You've got hall bath right here, which decent. You got quartz countertops there. The floors and everything are nice. The, the, the carpet, not too bad. When you walk into the master, not a huge master again. This is a smaller floor plan, right? You've got the walk-in closet here and then you've got a bathroom here with the double vanity and then you don't have a walk-in shower. You've got a shower tub combo again kind of what you're sacrificing for the location and the price point in this area. But like I said though, you've got all these amenities right here by you. I mean, less than a mile away, you have the Creekside Shopping Center with the moving theater, you have Target, you have you know Best Buy, you have Dick's Sporting Goods, you got all the restaurants you could ever need. You got the Big Bucky's, um, the huge Super HEB, or H Super HEB, my gosh. HEB Plus is across the highway from the Bucky's and from Creekside Shopping Center, just a couple miles down the road. Um, tons of good options for schools in this area. So whether you're looking at Creekside or any of these other areas in New Braunfels, this one in particular is Comal ISD, so feeds to Canyon High School, which is also right down the road. A lot of the elementary schools and middle schools are right here on the same street, kind of close to Creekside. There is everything that you could possibly need that is one of the greatest benefits of this neighborhood in particular. You are gonna be hard pressed to find a location as prime as this where it's so easy to access everything that you could ever need from hospital shopping, restaurants, um, the grocery stores, the schools, the amenities with this neighborhood, with the pool, everything that you could ever need is right here. Now, the next place that we're gonna take a look at is the final spot and it is over on the west side of San Antonio and it is in a neighborhood called Redbird Ranch. The west side of San Antonio has a ton of development this is an area that has been developed for a while, but has some amazing amenities, crazy low tax rates, and some really, really awesome houses. And this house is a 2,500 plus square foot home that we're gonna go take a look at, and it's under 300,000. Welcome to the final stop on this tour. This is Redbird Ranch. This house behind me is probably the best value for what you get in the house versus what the price point is in all of San Antonio. You're looking at 293,000 for a 2,500 square foot house, four bed, three bath home in outstanding community with a really, really good builder in DR Horton. We're gonna check it out. The amenity center here is outstanding. As you can see from some of these videos, they have pool, they have splash pad, they've got schools in the community. Uh, they've got tennis and pickleball courts, basketball courts, playgrounds, tons of walking trails. This is a huge community. Real quick, one thing you might notice is that there is a eh, decent amount of light in here. There's no power to this house right now, but I still wanted to get you guys through it because this is a finished product. This one in particular is actually not for sale. It's actually been sold already, but there are multiple others in that price range between like 290-ish to like 293. So this house, 2,530 square feet for $290,000 with the interest rates that DR Horton is getting you is really, really good. So as you can see, when you walk in, first thing you come in, you have a nice little entryway. And actually right here at the front, you don't need to walk all the way into the bedroom, but you have like a guest suite. So you have a full bathroom with a you know tower shub, uh, shower tub combo and then a really good sized bedroom down here. And then you walk straight into the living area. You've got you know storage under the stairs here, stairs going up big kitchen you know, space with you know, good amount of bar top space, gas appliances in here. Um, and then you've also got a really, really good size dining room, play area, whatever you wanna use it for. And then the nice thing that I really like about Redbird Ranch in particular is that they have a really good sized backyard. So let's go back out here real quick. 
I mean, this is this house in itself is a corner lot, but you can see the space between the houses. This is very, very unique for a neighborhood like this. Most of the time they try to squish them as much as they can, get them really, really close so they can fit as many houses as possible. These backyards are really, really good size here. And you can, I mean, you clearly see it, plenty of space for whatever you want, trampoline, playground, fire pit, pavilion, shed for storage, anything that you want. Now, when you come in, we'll go upstairs and take a look. I mean, this is a really, really, big living space on top of this other dining room over here. So let's go upstairs real quick. A lot of people tend to like, and in my preference, if you're gonna have a two-story house, it's nice to have a big open loft space. So you have a second living area. You could do an office in the corner. This could be, you know, you could put a couch here with another TV to make this a guest space if you need the four bedrooms for your kids. You've got the master is on this side over here, which is actually right next to, hold on a second. This is a really, really dark room. This is like a storage room. I didn't, hmm, that's interesting. That's like a storage room. So master in here, and then you've got good size bathroom. Probably the only ne real negative that I can really talk about here is it doesn't have double vanity and it doesn't have a walk-in shower. It's just the shower tub combo but you could easily add another vanity there if you wanted to. The closet itself, hard to see, hopefully you can see it okay. Oh yeah, it's massive. So you've got a huge closet, lots of space in there. You could even add another row of uh, you know shelving underneath that big one over there. And then over here, I mean, the good thing about with this being a 2,500 square foot house is that you have a lot of storage space. Like this, I think is just a storage room or an office. I mean, you could use it for whatever because you still got two bedrooms over here. You've got a linen closet here. Did you lose me or what? <laughs> You've got a linen closet here, another full bathroom, and then two pretty good sized rooms over this side. Both of them, this one has a good size walk-in closet. Does this one have a walk-in closet too? Let's see. Yeah, so both of them have walk-in closets, which is also a plus. A lot of times they scrunch everything as much as they can, but this house has a ton of space. And this is, like I said, this one in particular, this corner lot went for 293. Really, really good price here. So one thing to consider, we've talked about all these 300, sub $300,000 homes. The prices have kind of hit the bottom when it comes to new construction. They were at the peak in 2022. They went down all of last year. They were dropping prices. They're giving incentives and everything. They're still giving a lot of those incentives. But what I am seeing a lot of lately coming into 2024, into the summer, is they are starting to increase their prices. This neighborhood in particular is increasing their prices. This one should still be under 300,000, but they are increasing their prices starting the Monday after you watching, you're watching this video. Well, okay, you might be watching this video later, but the Monday after I recorded this video. So keep that in mind. These new construction neighborhoods are increasing their prices. So if you're thinking about renting potentially, you know, maybe for a few months, um, let's talk about it. Let's see what options you have as far as, okay, maybe it would be, would make sense for you to get in this house before those get, they get those price increases or before they change their incentives because interest rates have not gone down this year. So all kinds of stuff we can talk about, but if you have any questions at all about that or any of these sub $300,000 houses that we've talked about in this video, reach out to us at the Life in San Antonio, Texas home group. Information is right here and down in the description below. Text us, call us, email us anytime, day or night. I'm here to answer your questions no matter what about San Antonio. Um, would love to help you get into one of these brand new homes. And if you have, like I said, if you have any other questions, just let me know. You can also comment your questions down in the video below. If you've gotten this far, make sure you subscribe and check out this video right here. It talks all about where to live in San Antonio. Every single area about San Antonio gives you the breakdown of it if you haven't watched that video already. All right, see you in the next one.